Good morning. This is morning devotion. I'll read from Exodus chapter 20 verse 25. Uh, it speaks about the altar, like making of altar, like how God is uh, like telling the right plan, how to build it, what should happen. And, uh, and it's beautiful thing is that it's not by human energy or like the human way, but God gives a plan how to build it. So like it says there in uh, verse 25, but if you make for me an altar of a stone, do not build it of a hewn stones, for if you use a chisel upon it, you profane it. Like if you use a chisel upon it, you profane it. Uh, God is not pleased when it is. It will be if chisel is uh, used. Chisel means like if you see that human energy, human uh, design. Like if you look, if you look at the uh, uh, artist, usually use chisel to give a shape. Uh, and it, it's his idea to give a shape, but God doesn't want human energy. God doesn't want human plan. God doesn't want human human efforts in building an altar. And it should be not hewn from stones, and it should be of uh, complete, full, perfect stone. So, so sometimes people uh, live that way, uh, thinking that I want to please God, and I want to do something for God. Uh, by their own energy but then it says that uh, uh, human energy is not uh, not pleasing to God God doesn't desire God don't desire uh, the burnt offering he may, remember in that uh, Old Testament it says in Psalms 51 also that God don't desire that uh, uh, burnt offering but he desire the contrite and humble heart but then here in Colossian chapter one it says uh, verse 29 paul also says that to this end i also labor like paul is saying i to this end i also labor he is working hard he is like he is serving but then striving his labor i also labor striving according to his work which works in me mightily according to his work which works in me mightily like holy spirit is working in, in him mightily and through him he is able to do this uh, uh, do this uh, labor work striving like in a sense he says that i am i'm putting on my effort not by his might but by his by the strength of the holy spirit so many come to this point that you know god is pleased with uh, with uh, his work Right, the work which uh, happened on the cross, that is an altar and that altar belongs to Jesus. Uh, it was not for the man. Man couldn't die for uh, sin. Jesus died. Like as a man he died, uh, but perfect man. And we cannot, uh, uh, like uh, uh, a human effort cannot do that. Jesus did that. An altar, we carry that cross daily in our life, uh, which is uh, uh, fulfilled by Jesus Christ. So uh, let's serve, let's love, let's uh, worship Him, let's uh, uh, think about God's uh, plan, like you know, uh, God's work through not our flesh, not our uh, uh, human way, human thinking, not through our efforts, not through our energy, not through our striving or our labor, but like Paul said that I labor and strive the working which is like happening in him mightily working mightily in him the spirit is working in him so through that he is able to do it so this morning if we want if we are living as a christian we cannot do it by our flesh or by our energy by human good works because god doesn't want chisel on the stone because it profanes it like in Exodus chapter 20, 25, but what, how does it apply now? It applies that simply recognizing ourselves that we died in Christ, no more I live, I live, now I live by faith in the Son of God. So Galatians chapter 2, 20, so I live according to that, that now Christ lives in me, and no more I live. So let's have, uh, God will be pleased by this, when we live this Christian life, by His working of his mightily in us yeah so have a blessed day amen